Yeah. You can't be lucky in that fight, that's why. What, because I threw a punch and hit him in the eye, I got lucky. You're, you're going to get a very rough, you're going to get a very fight, rough, you're very dirty. rough off me on Saturday what, night. What do you think that scares me, bro? I'm just letting you know. Here we are in Bethnal Green, where on Saturday night, the British middleweight title, the Commonwealth middleweight title are on the line. Denzel Bentley, Felix Cash. Here we are, it's a big, big fight. A 50-50 fight that the fans are very excited for. I know there's a lot of respect between you two, but also some stories inspiring and a little bit of tension in the press conference that we had yesterday. But um, I'll come to you, Felix, first with basically the question, how do you beat Denzel Bentley? Um, I believe I, I beat Denzel on Saturday night. Um, I beat him, beat him quite comfortably. Um, I believe I get him out of there. You know, I, I boxed all over the world. I boxed the world champion, amateur world champion, Olympic champion. You know, I've been all over the world. I've been in the top, top um, opposition and beat top opposition. Um, you know, I won gold medals um, for GB. You know, and and in the pros, you look at my last my last couple of opponents and look and look at Denzel's. You know, um, Denzel bought Mark Mark one twice. It was his best win. And you know, in the first fight, he had a draw, and I think he was lucky to get a draw. The second fight, you know, he, he, he you know, Heffron won the first round, and you know, he got an eye injury. Don't get me wrong. How did that, that injury uh, happen, though? Obviously, you don't let me finish, and that's, I'll tell you. You know, he did. Don't get me wrong. He did. He did. He did. Um, he did stick on stick on Heffron a bit, and but how much can you read into that win with, with, with the eye injury? And he got stopped in the eye injury, and it was uh, early on in the fight. You know, he never knocked him out or anything. You know, how, how much can you read into that? We'll have to wait and see on Saturday night and see how good Denzel is. You know, I believe that I've been in with a better opposition. I believe I'm a better fighter. And um, we'll have to, um, and I believe on Saturday night, I'll, I'll show Denzel. Do you, do you think there's a question about the, the people you fought in the past? Clearly to him, I think I fought some good opponents. I don't know if he feels like Jason Bourbon's a better win than Mark Heffron, do you? Well, you never really, what way did you win him, beat him? The first fight, I, I believe Heffron might, might be in a better, better fight than um, better fighter than than than, than Wellborn, but you never really beat him. You know, you beat you beat him the first time. You know, um, the first time I thought he beat you, sorry, and the second time, you know, he did get beat on an eye injury. The fight, you know, the fight never played out properly. But the, the injury was caused by a punch, right? Well, yeah, well, we right. ain't done so that the name of the game. That is the name of the game. Right. What, what so I'm trying to say, you never beat him, you know, you got a bit lucky in that fight, that's why. What, because I threw a punch and hit him in the eye, I got lucky? Uh, no, like, he, he, it, was, it was lucky because, he, you know, he got a bad eye injury. Yeah, but how did that eye injury occur? Was yeah, it but it weren't like a stoppage, was it? It weren't like a convincing, <laughs> Yeah, he could have continued because yeah. his eyes swelled up because I know, punched him. Yeah, but it was very early doors when he got lucky, you know, with the bad right, Then he should have moved his head, that's his problem. Did you change something from the the first Heffron fight? and learn from it and take it into the second fight that you yeah, saw that, that made you be able to capitalise? <coughs> yeah, I did, I did, I did. Yeah, I've said that a few times. I've watched the fight back, saw things I'd done wrong and I thought, OK, I need to adjust next time and get it right. You spoke yesterday in the press conference that you see yourself at world level and you, you visualise yourself being world champion. Yeah. Do you look past this fight at all? No, no, of course not. These, these are one of the steps I need to take in towards, you know, getting to that, to that, to that point. Obviously, apart from the board sanctioning it, because obviously he was managing challenger for the British. It was a fight that, you know, I would have taken anyway because it's a good fight, it shows what level I'm at. And, you know, it will push me on to better things. You spoke yesterday in a, in a similar way, saying that, you know, obviously it's, you respect the fight, but it is a, step, a stepping stone to, to bigger things. Yes, I've mean, got to get Denzel out of the way, but, you know, before we go anywhere, you know, this fight obviously is an important fight. And um, obviously I respect Denzel as a fighter, but, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in and, and, and do my job Saturday night. But, like I say, he had to fight me. I didn't have to fight him, you know, and um, and it was all on Saturday night. Have you, have you both, I'll come to you first, Denzel, have you both sensed the excitement around this fight? Because it's not every day that, we know what boxing's like, it's not every day that these fights actually get made, these exciting 50-50 fights, sometimes can be difficult. Do you respect Felix for, for taking it? Yeah, like he said, he didn't have to. He could have went uh, the European route that they were talking about, so. The fact that, you know, he spun round and came to challenge me for my title, you've got to respect it. Like, I said, respect him as a fighter. He's, he's a fighting man, clearly, because he didn't even take the fight, and he did, so I respect him for that still. And now on the bookmakers, they have him a slight favourite. What does that make you think? <laughs> it doesn't make me think anything. They had him a favourite, so it doesn't make a difference to me. The bookmakers ain't boxing people. They just go by who's more popular, and clearly he's a little bit more popular, so, yeah. 
What do you think people are seeing that makes you the favourite? I think, um, I think they're reading into you know, what I've done and um, my amateur pedigree. You know, I don't think he won anything as an amateur. You know, I've been. Amateurs don't mean nothing. You know, but it does mean it does mean a certain man. I've won I've won titles in the amateurs, and I've been winning titles. And I've won titles as well. I've been winning titles throughout my career. I've been good throughout my career, and um, you know, so I think it's going to be that the, the experience and the high level that I boxed at all through my career. I think it's going to it's going to play play dividends on on Saturday night. Amateurs don't mean anything, you know, we're professionals now, so we have to get on in a, in a professional ring, not no three round fighting, we're going over 12 rounds, all, all less, so you can forget all the amateur stuff, because we're here now. Yeah, I know where, yeah. Yeah. We're here, mate, don't you over there. We're here. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> both, of you, both of you came off of, uh, both of you are coming off of destructive performances, I know. Felix is raising a question over the eye injury, but you both come off of big, destructive performances. Who's who's the bigger puncher? Well, my what, you, my, you look my like record, to me there. My record shows, you know, that I'm a bigger puncher, yeah, but yeah. I ain't been in with him, or yeah. I have, but not in a real fight. So, yeah, you know, but he, he, like, like, like he says, uh, we put the one opponent in you box is the one opponent in the same opponent as me. I stopped him in the first round. You went the distance with him. I didn't even but see like how you stopped him. I saw that. But, yeah, I don't know but, how you but, him. but like you say, like you say, that's uh, styles make fights and a di different opponents and different different people in them. But that's the only one thing that I believe I'm a bigger puncher than him. But that's just him. He obviously, he can put bang a bit, you know, and he's, he's, he can bang a bit because obviously he, he, he's obviously got a few strategies. But I believe I'm a, I'm more heavy-handed than him. That's cool. Just a bit. Just that's, bang a bit. That's that's his opinion. I, he has an opinion, that's cool. Now talk about this sparring story that, that came up yesterday in the press conference. You both have fairly different, different versions of events. I believe you said that it was four rounds. You said it was about a round and a half, is that right? And it was about four rounds I've done all together because I've done three with Jimmy Smith and I got him in for about a round and a half, two rounds. It could be, it might be a round out, it might be a half round out. It was, it was three years ago. It was a long time. I'm, Listen, um, listen. Yeah, you know, but I've done about four or five. I know I've definitely never done the amount of rounds I was meant to do, because um, obviously he got out of hand, he got no. heated, but that's what, I, that's what happened. But then that led to you yesterday saying that you think Felix is a dirty fighter, whereas you think that Denzel holds on. I don't know. He, listen, he might be keep saying dirty fighters. I don't know if he's trying to get any favours off referees. I don't, I don't know, know what he's doing. Or get, or get, or get people I don't want no favours from referees. Listen, you know, I'm just letting this, you know this, I know this you're dirty, and it's not This is boxing. It's a dirty sport. It's a dirty woff, woff, woff. It's not a dirty sport. It's a dirty fight. It's a fight at the end of the day. It's a dirty fight. It's a fight. It's a fight. You know what I mean? You're going to get a fair fight in a clean fight, You're going to get a very rough, very rough off me on Saturday night. Who do you think that scares me, bro? I'm just letting you know. Well, you didn't like uh, complaining. You didn't like complaining. So. Who's complaining? I'm letting you know that I know you're dirty. Yeah. And that's not going to bother me. That's not going to affect me. I know you're dirty. I know you're dirty. Yeah. You're going to get rough on me. You think that scares me? Do you think that intimidates me? You're going to get a dirty. You, you think that was something to say? I said you're going to get a dirty. I said you're going to get a dirty. <laughs> rough. You, you, all right, rough. Same thing. You're going to get it rough. Yeah, yeah, cool. What? Do you think that's intimidating? You think that's a cool thing to say? Are you going to get it rough? Nah, bro. You're doing a complaint about it. You're I ain't complaining, I'm just letting you know. I'm you're you're doing a lot of complaining. I, I, I ain't complaining to no one. I'm not asking for no favors from no We're refs. Fight, yeah, you're refs. complaining already. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't asking for no favors from no refs. I'm just letting uh, you know that I know what you're on. Uh, I mean, he's not wrong. It's a, it's a rough sport. Are you ready to play rough as well if you need to? We'll find out Saturday, man. I ain't got to keep talking about rough. i just letting him know I know he's dirty and that's how he wins. That's how he won his last two fights, being dirty, so. It's all good, it's not going to... It's not going to win on Saturday night, dude, doing the same. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Did you think you were dirty in the last five minutes? Oh, no, no, I know, no. I didn't think I was. Did you? No. You've got a point taken off. It must have been dirty. Oh, I don't know. You just think the ref's picking on you? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> uh, if you do oh. get it put on you like that, if it is... He ain't going to do nothing, bro. He ain't putting that on me, bro. So, I don't need to answer that question because he's not putting that on me. But he's telling you that he's going to... That's cool. He can tell me whatever he wants. He said he's going to knock me out. He said he's going to go to a round. Like he said, he's going to say what he wants to say. He's saying now. Talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. You know, we can all talk. You know, say same things. On Saturday night, I'm just going to get in there and I'll show him. Cool. That's it. Saturday's around the corner, so we ain't got to do much. And I think, you know, we've spoken about how this is a 50-50 fight and there is actually, you know, respect between you. Is there going to be fireworks? Are the fans in for a big fight? Yeah, of course they are. They know they are. You know, two unbeaten fighters with two beautiful titles in the land. No one ain't trying to let that go. Or well, we're going to go to work. Exactly. And for whoever the winner is, what's next? Whatever my team thinks. 
listen, we'll see what's next. You know, there's some big fights to be made in, in the division. Um, so get Benzin out of the way and we'll see what's next. There we go. I saw, I saw a bit of the staring in the press conference yesterday. Is it a bit more intense than it started at the beginning of the week? Is this always the way it is? I think anyone, anyone until yesterday. Listen, the thing is, anyone you fight, I think anyone, not just them, anyone, anyone you fight, you know, you, 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 go, you go again and you're both going to try to take each other's head off. It's the bad game, so it's, I, don't, I don't look at them as different than anyone else. We're seeing each other up close now, sizing each other up. Are the kind of, you know, the, the part of you that has to switch on fight night, are you feeling that start to rise when up? When fight night comes, you know, I'll hit that switch, but... For now, I'm chilled. I'm cool. All right, boys. Well, are we, are we getting a handshake? Are we getting a handshake? Like my handshake? Of course we are. Yeah, look, there's a, there's a little bit of hard feelings about some sparring sessions. You both think you're going to win. That's what we want to see. That's what makes... It's more about the belts than that sparring session. And obviously the, the future, obviously my future in this, in, in this sport. So exactly. sparring sessions, free. Even though I did a good bit complaining about it, it's, it's all right. You shouldn't be complaining to <laughs> me. Nah, bro, I'm just letting you know that you're dirty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this, is what, this is what makes good fights. This is why people are excited. And you can see this fight starting at 7.30 on Saturday night on BT Sport 1.